up for review today the self-propelled artillery wagon from Dragon Cyber Hobby. It's from their Orange Box Super Value Pack, kit number 9120. The kit contains over 180 parts and includes five Waffen Tank Crew 1944-45 bonus figures. Let's check it out. Starting things off, we have the railroad base. These sprues here contain the railroad ties, track section, and couplers. Here are all the turret components. This little sprue here also contains some turret components in addition to bullet splash guards. Here we have the superstructure side panels, MG34s, wheels, and pioneer tools. This sprue contains our five Waffen Tank Crew figures. This sprue here contains the lower hull section, the front and back, and top plates, along with some crew access doors. We have a small bag containing the decal sheet and a small photo etch fret. And lastly we have the instruction sheet. So here's a quick run through of the instruction sheet. On the front page here we have the sprue callouts and everything shaded in blue are parts that are not used. So you will have some pieces left over in the end. Step one, bumper stops and tow hooks. Step two, mufflers, wheels, and axles. Step three, undercarriage assembly. Step four, fitting the undercarriage to the hull. Step five, upper hull assembly. Step six, left side, upper plate and front plate details. Step 7, Machine Guns and Tools. Step 8, Right Side, Upper Plate and Rear Plate Details. Step 9, Splash Guards and Joining Upper and Lower Hull Sections. Step 10, Major Turret Assembly. Step 11, Initial Mantlet Assembly. Twelve and Thirteen, Turret Cupola and Details. Step 14, Gun Mantlet Final Assembly. Step 15, base sections. Sixteen and seventeen, installing the ties and tracks. 
And finally, step 18, fitting the turret and setting the completed model on the tracks. Here is the basic painting and marking guide. The artillery wagon is supposed to be painted overall dunkel gelb. The bumper stops and tow hooks are black. And I'll probably end up just airbrushing on the black crosses using homemade masks. And lastly, the painting guide for the Waffen tank crew figures. So this is sprue A. Some of the major components are the lower superstructure half, rear plate, front plate, and top plate with turret ring. Definitely got some nice rivet detail going on there. I really like these uh, drip guards and uh, some pretty nice hinge detail. This uh, kit did have three broken parts. Um, and this is one of them right here. One of the grab handles is folded in half. So I'll probably have to make a new one, probably out of brass wire for that. These are the crew access doors. Some of the smaller bits. Uh, it's a pretty nice radio uh, antenna mount there. And here's the lower half of the superstructure with the uh, vented louvers. These are sprue letter B. They are identical. They make up the uh, sides of the vehicle. These two sprues are letter C and they contain the four MG34s. which are actually fairly detailed. The ends of the barrels are not hollowed out, so we'll have to drill those out. Uh, also included on this sprue are the uh, tow hooks there, and then a couple pieces for the, uh, the bumper stops. And these are also the ports uh, for the MG34s. These two sprues here are letter D, and they make up the undercarriage assembly, the wheels, axles, and uh, frame, This and also the exhaust here. But this, uh, this sprue here contained the second kind of broken piece that I found with this kit. Um, the exhaust right here is really bent. But I think when I glue um, both these halves together, that will re-strengthen that, and I'm sure it'll be alright. This is sprue E. Looks like it's from straight out of a Panzer III kit. It's got all your uh, components to build your turret. And uh, you don't have a choice on your side access doors there. They're molded one piece.
This is a Panzer III um, N turret. These two little indentations on either side of the turret will have to be filled and sanded smooth. You can uh, mold your cupola hatch in the open position there, so that's kind of nice. I really like this top plate here with all the um, recessed bolt head detail and whatnot. And here's a stowage bin that uh, will not be used with this particular kit. There's no F sprues in this kit, so we move right on to the G's. We have a pair of identical sprues here that contain your railroad ties, coupler pieces, and track sections. This uh, particular sprue here has the third and final broken piece that I found um, in this kit. Uh, this steel plate right here Two of the angle prongs are broke off. I did find them in the bag though, so I should be able to glue those back together and everything will be alright. Um, the railroad ties have some pretty nice um, wood grain to them. So those should look uh, pretty nice all weathered up. This here is a track uh, coupler piece. And here's your uh, rail. This little guy here is sprue letter I and contains all of your pioneer tools and uh, three piece jack. And this little guy here is sprue letter J. We've got some more turret components here, and I believe this is the sprue that gives you the um, Panzer 3N uh, gun here. And these are the bullet splash guards to protect the turret ring. The barrel is molded in one piece, just got a little bit of cleanup to do on it there. And lastly, these are the five uh, Panzer crew members. This must be a, a fairly old mold. There is quite a bit of flash on the figures and um, the detail really isn't that crisp. You do get a MP40 there though and a set of binoculars, uh, some holsters. These are the um, headset earphones. Included with the kit are these two sections of base. And you get the two straight pieces here and these are the end caps that'll go on the ends to kind of give it a finished look. And uh, overall, I mean, the texture is pretty nice. 
the ballast there, but uh, I probably won't use these. I'll, I'll make my own base. And here's kind of what I wanted to show. Um, each one of these is, there you go, is um, labeled a different number. And each one of those railroad ties, for whatever reason, they're not the same. So you have to put them in whatever order these things are labeled for it to fit properly, I guess. But if you just wanted to make a static display shelf model, I think this would work out pretty nice, but um, I'm kind of planning a diorama, or I have a diorama in mind, and I don't think this would work very well uh, for that, so I'll probably come up with something of my own. And lastly, the decal sheet and photo etch fret. All the decal sheet comprises of is the two uh, black crosses and it looks like this is all one piece so you'll need to take your uh, hobby knife or scissors to separate the two crosses before you put them on your model. I think I'm just gonna make uh, my own masks and airbrush them on so I won't even use these. And this here is the uh, photo etch fret. And this is actually for the figure set that's included. These are the headbands that connect the um, earphones together. So that's all those are. So in closing, uh, future plans for this kit. As I mentioned before, I'd like to build a diorama for it, roughly the same size as probably what this box is here. And I would have the artillery wagon on the tracks, and uh, they'd be stopped like at a crossroads out in the country. And there would be a German motorcycle with a sidecar that was pulled up, and they would be talking to the crew of the artillery wagon. Who knows what they'd be talking about, maybe there's some resistance uh, farther down the track that they're trying to warn them about or something to this effect. But I thought it would just be kind of a nice little low-key uh, diorama to display uh, such an interesting vehicle as this. So with that, um, I hope you enjoyed this review and happy modeling.